Oh, your hair is way too pretty to treat it like that. Come on, are you going to let her dictate your entire life? There's really nothing happening between you and Jenna. Promise. I don't believe you. Again, I know you told mom and dad you're spending an extra week at the conservatory, but Mr. James seems worried with how much school you're missing. Can you please call me back? Okay, bye. Hey, Axel. Oh, hey, you. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. So... So? I think we need to clear the air about the other day. Oh, you mean in Miss Reardon's class? Well, unless there was another blackout that I have uh, totally blacked out. <laughs> no pun intended. I mean, not intended, but I'll take it. <laughs> what were you thinking? I just feel really bad because Jenna's really into you, and she would kill me if she knew what happened. Well, technically nothing did happen. But it could have. It still could. Axel. Yeah, you're right. I need to talk to Jenna. I will tell her that nothing happened, nothing is going to happen between us, and uh, basically I should have done it a long time ago. Well, only if that's what you want. Seriously, we can totally forget about what happened. You mean what could happen? <laughs> One turkey sandwich. It's not a turkey sandwich. Two turkey sandwiches. No. Okay, this is it. Two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. Honestly, how do you come up with this stuff? Hey, am I interrupting something? Oh. Hey, what's up? So I was thinking, maybe we shouldn't compete as much to be safer because we don't want the power to go out again. I mean, it wouldn't have to be that big, not like a franchise or whatever. Just two robots working side by side. Let me think about it and I'll talk to you later. Okay, yeah, don't worry, think about it. It's not like I'm gonna build a bigger robot if you say no. You scare me, Morgan. Good. 100 turkey sandwiches. <laughs> Yeah, still working on that one. Yeah, okay. See you later. <laughs> I can't believe Sam's still gone. Is that even allowed? I called him again this morning. He keeps saying that the conservatory is extending his stay. It's really weird. Do you think he's lying? I don't know. We weren't on super good terms when he left. That sucks. I hate all these secrets. Jenna, I need to tell you something. Uh-oh. You're leaving school too, and you're going to work with that Harlow, whatever her name is. I wish. But no, it's about Axel. Let me guess. He wants to know what kind of flowers I like. The answer is orchids, obviously. I wish it was that. I'm just going to say it. I think he's seeing Diana behind your back. 
Kate, we've talked about this. He's only being nice to her because she's spiraling out. There's nothing more. During the power outage, Diana basically told me that they're more than friends. And she got mad at me for putting you two together. You can't be serious. I hate being in the middle of this, but I wanted you to know. I'm honestly so over this. Cassie, can I speak to you for a minute? But I didn't do anything wrong. Why does everyone always assume they've done something wrong? Have a seat, Cassie. So, Belle's mother and a few other moms have been calling Mr. Lane about the dances you've been doing. Felicity gave us permission. We didn't break in or anything. Just let me finish, Cassie. A lot of the parents are disappointed that Magic Moves is closed. And they asked if we could support the arts in this particular instance. What do you mean? He means we're gonna have a dance team. What? <laughs> now hold your horses. Traditionally at Millwood, the cheer team has competed as our official dance squad, but considering the interest here, we were able to move some budget around. So Millwood is going to like have an official dance squad? Well, it depends. On what? In two weeks, we're gonna have a county judge come here and do a sort of audition. So if you and the other girls can show them that you're competitive, well, then you'll have a team. Oh my god, this is amazing. Only problem is we have nowhere to practice. Yeah, Belle's right. The gym's fully booked out. And I can't make space until you're official. So I'm afraid you're going to have to find somewhere in the interim. Any ideas? Actually, yes, I do. Can you give me like a few hours? Well, sure. constitutes 40% of your final grade. That would be 40, that would be four zero. And it is going to cover all of the material that we've discussed this past semester. That would be Macbeth, Lord of the Flies, and even 1984 from this past summer. And there's going to be no exceptions. We're gonna have multiple choice. We're gonna have short answers. We're going to have a free form essay. I need Axel. Excuse me, young lady. Exactly what do you think you're doing? There's a class in session here. Uh, I mean, Mr. James needs Axel in his office right now. Seriously? Well, oh, this is highly irregular. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Be quick about it. Chop, chop. This is a disruption. I really can't work like this. We're going to get back to the business at hand, which is your final test, which is 40% of your grade. Uh, what the heck, Jenna? I was right in the middle of class. I can't do this anymore. You have to be straight with me. Is there something going on between you and Diana? I've told you a hundred times. It's not like that. Then tell me the truth. What's going on? All right, you want the truth? I will tell you the whole truth. This better be good. I haven't been cheating with Diana. I've been cheating off Diana. What? Yeah, look, I've really been struggling with English, so I've been copying her notes to get through with my work. But I thought you were smart. <sighs> well, maybe that's just what I want people to think. But the truth is, I am really struggling. Millwood's a lot harder than my old school. Axel, why didn't you just tell me? Maybe I could have helped you, but I could have found you a tutor or something. I guess I was just ashamed. Can we get some fresh air? Yeah. Hey, Cassie. <laughs> we missed you in class today. I know. Miss Raven's going to kill me. Have you seen Axel anywhere? I need to talk to him. Last time I checked, he was headed to Mr. James's office. That can't be right, because I just came from there. I can't help you. I'm sorry you felt like you couldn't tell me things. I'm your girlfriend, you can trust me. I'm so sorry, Jen. Don't feel sorry, it's not your fault. What? Nothing. <laughs> I'm 
I don't know, Snack Pack. I think we'd be like 50-50 partners. <laughs> Spencer Morgan Robotics. Sporgan Partners. Menser and Sons. One turkey sandwich. Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. I don't know if I want to show you this snack pack. I don't think you're going to like it. One. Please don't say it. Diana, I've been looking for you everywhere. Are you okay? Ever feel like the world is against you? Sometimes. Yeah, for me, it feels like all the time. Is this about school or Axel? Maybe I'm the problem. Why would you say that? The fight at Kate's, the drama with Mr. James, Miss Rudin. There's only one common denominator. Me. No, that's not a healthy way to think. Look, we're all in high school. We're gonna be put into some sort of drama. Why aren't you pulling your hair out? It seems like you have anxiety. That's okay. A lot of people have it. But have you talked to anyone about this? What's the point? It's me against the world, isn't it? No, not at all. I don't know what's going on. But what I do know is that I'm here for you. I'm having a hard time, Morgan. I know, but it's gonna be okay. I love you. I love you. Goodness, we need you. I will be like three seconds. No, it's not that. Dusty was crowd surfing and banked his head. Do you know the set list? What do you mean, do I know the set list? Like how to play the songs. Eve, are you asking me to perform with the sharp edges? How many more times do I have to say it? You have about 60 seconds before the crowd gets fed up and leaves. I'm in. Great. Okay. Do I bring this? No, just go. Oh, okay.
next time on Total Eclipse. We really need to stay focused. The audition's in like a week, and it looks like we're getting worse. Yeah, but Sam's single, Axel's not. Did you know about this? Don't lie to me, Cassie. Things got really messed up. You keep saying it like someone else is responsible. Find your brother and get him back to Millwood as soon as you can.